That's established. Everything's good. I'm now in comfort. <laughs> Shut down. Oof, good stuff. So, where are you from? Who are you? All the normal stuff, right? All those little interesting things that, uh, that you've collected over the years. You're going to be in a talkative state by that time, right? So, your brain will start bringing up, oh, hey, well, guess, guess what? I got a buddy of mine downstairs. He got kicked out. Yeah, here's what happened. She, uh, she grabbed his throat. So he pushed it away. And some guy saw it and there, just happened last night. Now it's a story, right? So that's what the comfort building material is really all about. But getting to that point where you are physically sitting with her in a comfortable position, that's the hard part. Or maybe, maybe hard isn't the word. That's the work, or that's the play. That's another way of looking at it as well. Fair? Now, what's the difference between C1, C2, and C3? Location. And only location. The material is the same, whether you use it in C1 or C2 or C3. Does it really matter, you know, where you use the cube, right? Use it anywhere. That's just to handle technical uh, challenges of location. You have to be in a location with her, don't you? C1 or C2 or C3. Now, the only, difference in, uh, the only difference between those is in the escalation with your Kino, right? There's Kino escalation. Well, you know, should you make out with a girl in C1 or C2 or C3? Hey, man, wherever you want to make out with her, wherever you can. If you can't do it in C1 because, quite simply, she's got anti slut the her friends are there, her brother's there, her mom's there, you can't do it there, no problem, right? Just get some uh, light Kino going, right? You know, hugging or touching with the back of your hand, right? Sometimes you can make out with a girl that time. If you can escalate it that quickly, great, right? Make sure if you make out with a girl in C1, that kissing is actually a comfort building tactic. It's not an arousal tactic. And if it becomes arousing, you know, you start really making out with her, you better roll off because it's the pro that uh, knows that if he ends up making out with her for too long, he's going to get buyer's remorse. Learn from my mistakes. I mean, it's great to make out with the girl in the club. Uh, good fun, you know? And it may even be her fault. She may escalate. Next thing you know, you're, you know, rubbing her. And you think, I got it. I'm in, right? You get a phone number, and then you never see her again. Because she knows why you are calling her. You just want some more of that action. As opposed to, hey, let's actually build a friendship. Yeah, we're attracted to each other, but, you know, that aside, I enjoy your company, too. Like, if we weren't having sex, I'd still want to hang with you. You know, hey, what's wrong with having, uh, uh, you know, a friend with a bonus plan? That's always good. That turns to a good friend. But still, you have to get along with them that way, so you're going to have to roll off. So sometimes you'll do your makeout in a C2 location. Sometimes that's inappropriate. Sometimes you can't actually escalate to, to makeout until you're in C3. You got her to your house. Right? Finally, you're at the house, now you make out. So there are kind of like three different types of, of game pathways. There's the slow starter, right? There's the medium starter. Like the slow one is where you don't kiss her until, you know, seduction time, basically, in C3. There's the medium one where when you go from your C1 to C2 location, you may not even give her the statement of intent that you are a potential suitor. There are some girls that I just feel the vibe that if I hit on them now, they're just going to pull off too much. It's, it's too much, too fast, too soon, right? So I will say to them when it, with the phone number exchange, you know, don't expect anything but great conversation. But I'll, I'll introduce you to some really cool people. So from her perspective, I may not even be an option yet, right? I need to solidify the uh, location. I just need to see her again so I can continue working. So if I'm going to compromise that by stating my intent, in C1 and wrecking that from happening, what's the point? 